My name is Sanjan, I'm the lead scientist for The Nature Conservancy and I'm here uh, with Chris Johns, who's the editor-in-chief of National Geographic magazine and we're in my house in Missoula, Montana. One of the questions I have to ask you is, what are the important issues that you see The Nature Conservancy tackling and especially what uh, issues do you yourself really hold in the highest priority? Personally, there are two things I'm working on that I'm very excited about. One is a project that really does tackle poverty and it's linking conservation outcomes to outcomes that you can define as alleviating poverty in some ways. Um, developing those models and putting them in place at scale is exciting. In northern Kenya I was with a Samburu woman who I asked what has conservation done for you? Now we're investing a lot in this northern Kenya landscape and she said it allows me to sleep with my shoes off at night. And what she meant by that was it provides security. Mm. So the fact that we are funding ranger stations and communication stations and things like that in northern Kenya also affords a level of security to local communities that they never had. So we went and did a survey. This is amazing. Five years of investment in, in Kenya. And what do people really care about conservation? It turns out that the top one was security followed by communication. So the fact that they now have a way of communicating back into town. The third was transportation. The fourth was better management for their livestock and grass banking. It was astonishing to me that what we view as conservation, they view as necessity to life. So I'm very excited about that work. The second thing, which is brand new for us in some ways, is getting into the education space. So, you know, I really believe youth are really the future and how we expose them to conservation and science is going to make a big difference. We have a program that takes kids from inner cities mostly and puts them on preserves for, with, with scientists for a length of time. It's been really successful. And now we're launching a new program which allows our scientists, we have 500 scientists around the world, it allows them to take their science content and deliver it directly to schools us using digital technology. And um, I think that's going to be really, really exciting. I think it's going to be an absolute game changer for our scientists because all of a sudden their job is no longer just to write a paper, write a report. They also have to think about how they're communicating the next generation. But for kids in school, I mean, how amazing is this? Um, last year I was in the Solomon Islands and I was able to teach a class on Darwin and evolution to kids in the Bronx. But that same class could be watched by kids in China or by kids in New Zealand. So those are the two things that I think we're really, I'm personally really excited about.